Alleged comedian and self-proclaimed progressive Jimmy Dore is getting very close to just saying what he's been thinking for probably quite some time, that Republicans are good and you should vote for them. Now, this is someone who started with TYT Network. He was one of these firebrand progressives, at least that's what he branded himself as. But over the years, his content started to shift. He never criticized Republicans. He'd criticized Democrats, albeit from an ostensibly left-wing position, but he'd always ignore what the Republicans were doing. And then over the years, he's burned more and more bridges with people on the left, myself included, as more of us have called him out. And now he has basically no allies on the left because he's burned all of those bridges. And he basically took away all plausible deniability during COVID when he went full anti-vaxxer, when he started to go on Fox News and give Tucker Carlson daily tongue baths, or I should say weekly tongue baths, because there was a moment where he was going on his program like weekly. But either way, I mean, at this point in time, I feel like you have to be very dense to not see him as an obvious right wing, or at least a useful idiot for the right. But now he's going to help you out and just admit yeah, I think that maybe you should consider supporting Republicans. So take a look at what he says about Donald Trump and how anti-war Donald Trump was. So what were they really afraid of with Trump? They were afraid he wouldn't do this. That's what they were afraid of. They were afraid he wouldn't go along with them. Because he didn't come up in the Republican farm team. He didn't come up in the organization. He didn't have groomers, Trump. Trump didn't have donors for his whole life like everybody else. He was a donor. So he didn't owe favors like everybody else. They couldn't control him like they could control everybody. So what they did was they concocted Russiagate, red baited him for four straight years and impeached him twice because he didn't have his mind right. So if you were the anti-war person, you should have voted for Trump and the Republicans. That's what this means. If you're pro-war, you vote for Joe Biden and the Democrats. I was That's trying to save abortion. That's why I voted for Biden. <laughs> 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 I mean, can't you put a little bit more effort into your fake laugh, Jimmy? Come on. <laughs> like 95% of his show is him fake laughing and his wife fake laughing at him. And it's not even convincing. Like, they're not even trying. They're like, hmm. <laughs> Like, you have to smile when you're laughing. <laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but so, basically, he says Trump didn't have groomers. He didn't have donors. He was a donor. So, we're going to get to the main thing about Trump being more anti-war. But I've just got to touch on that because that is so patently absurd. Donald Trump didn't have donors necessarily uh, in the primary in 2015. But make no mistake about it. He took big money. And regardless of who bankrolled him, he was still obviously a shill for multi-billion dollar companies. Remember how he flip-flopped on drug price negotiations after meeting with an industry shill? I remember that. He also questioned why they couldn't just expand Medicare to everyone and claim that we should have healthcare for everybody before industry shills and his own party convinced him to go back in the opposite direction and take away what little health insurance Americans have, as shitty as it is. So think about that. He like he came into office saying we should have health care for everyone. And then he went in the opposite direction of taking away health care, trying to take away health care, do what he possibly can do to make sure less Americans are covered. And even if we're covered, it's not PG Keen. The insurance in this late stage capitalist hellscape is is trash. It's garbage. But I, I mean, still, he's trying to undo what little progress was made. If you can, you can even call it progress, right? Uh, but yet, all of a sudden, uh, Jimmy Dore is claiming he was this sole actor who wasn't controlled by special interests. This is the guy who cut taxes for all rich people, and you're claiming that like he's not a shill for his donors. Come on. He also says, uh, so if you are the anti-war person, you should have voted for Trump and the Republicans. That's what this means. If you're pro-war, you vote for Joe Biden and Democrats. Now he has up a headline on the screen from the New York Post, which says that Biden is uh, going into Somalia. Now, if you were to be disingenuous, you could argue the opposite. Biden did commit atrocities with drones, of course, but he still drastically reduced the drone war. He pulled out of Afghanistan, something that Trump said that he would do, but never did do. So you can make that argument, but that wouldn't be a very fair argument to make because the picture is much more complex and it's important to be nuanced. Making a definitive statement about 
you know, Trump or Biden being pro-war or anti-war doesn't make sense because it's not true. Both of them are very hawkish and militaristic. And I absolutely hate that we don't have an anti-war party in this country. Both parties are absolute sellouts and they are beholden to the military industrial complex. So to describe a leader in any party as anti-war on its face is absurd. But like, let's just remember what Trump did while he was in office, the supposedly anti-war president. As Jordan Sheridan points out, LOL, anti-war Trump who armed Ukraine with 210 Javelin missiles, bombed Syria, V towed the resolution to end U.S. involvement in Saudi genocide on Yemen, increased U.S. troops and money to NATO nations, increased troops in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria. What a clown. Yeah, and on top of that, he increased the drone war by 400 plus percent. Even libertarians uh, like Rand Paul's organization was pointing this out. Obama did the same thing. He got in office, ramped up drones, and then he ramped them down once they were getting reports and pushback about all of the lives that they were killing. And then Trump got in office, did the opposite, raised them up to higher than they've ever been before. Now, also, the Vanguard points out, because some clowns are pretending that America first Republicans are actually principally anti-war, like Marjorie Green, that's what they're referring to. Here are just some of the things off the top of my head that Donald Trump was responsible for while president. Moved the Israeli embassy to Jerusalem at the behest of Netanyahu. Continued funding Israel. Armed Ukraine. Bombed Syria. Vetoed bill to end weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. Assassinated Qasem Soleimani. Escalated with nuclear armed countries on Twitter. Failed to pardon Julian Assange. The OJ conspired to assassinate Assange. Considered bombing Mexico. Walker Bragman reminds us that he dropped the mother of all bombs on Afghanistan. Yeah, and you can go on and on. Trump also withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal, which was essentially a peace deal between Iran and the United States and other countries. He unilaterally withdrew from that deal. So, you know, you can make this case that, you know, sure, Biden is very hawkish. He's done a plethora of very hawkish things, and I'd agree with you. But the difference is that nobody on the left is claiming that Biden is anti-war. That would be preposterous. He's done some things that are good overall, objectively, like getting out of Afghanistan, bringing down the number of drones that the United States uses. But to say that he's anti-war would be a misrepresentation because he's just not. It's factually incorrect. But Jimmy Dore is claiming the opposite. He's saying Trump was actually anti-war, even though that's demonstrably false. But the reason why Jimmy Dore is deceiving his audience is because he wants them to vote Republicans. He wants them to support Donald Trump if he runs in 2024. This has kind of been his entire project. This is the culmination of what he's been leading up to. He wants to sheepdog people into the Republican Party. That's what he wants to do. So take a look at what he says about Ron DeSantis. He's going to make a disingenuous pitch for Ron DeSantis. And then when we come back, I'll tell you why what he's saying is just completely false. And so now look, and now they give a right winger like DeSantis who should be repulsive to people who are on the left. Now they make him attractive. And how are they doing it? Watch, here's, here's what he says. Uh, but clearly, uh, our entire principles that the country was founded on, uh, you cannot have a ministry of truth in this country. And so let's get real here. Let's let's make sure that we're doing things to benefit uh, Floridians and Americans, uh, but we're not going to let Biden get away with this one. So we'll be fighting back. They're, the Democrats are losing everybody who ha ha gives a lick about liberty, freedom, uh, it, it's civil rights. They're, they're losing everybody. They tried to paint Trump, remember, during Black Lives Matter, that Trump was a crazy authoritarian who's going to send the army into the city. Well, now Joe Biden is doing worse. <clears throat> and so they're making guys like that look attractive. If you're if you're for freedom, if you're for free speech and and civil rights and liberties, who are you going to vote for this guy or Joe Biden? Tough call, though, isn't it? No, not really. Ron DeSantis just this week signed a bill into law banning protests outside of private homes. He also signed a so-called anti-riot bill into law that granted immunity to drivers who ran over protesters. This is your free speech guy, Jimmy Dore. He also signed a modern version of Don't Ask, Don't Tell into law, which literally censors LGBTQ plus teachers and forces them to hide their identities from students so they won't be fired. But yet Jimmy Dore is saying, if you're pro free speech, how could you not support this guy? How could we not support this guy? How could you support this guy if you want to actually be perceived as being pro-free speech? He is signing bills into law that are unconstitutional. 
And yet Jimmy Dore claims that you should support him if you're pro-free speech. I remember there was one time on Jimmy Dore's show, he smeared me and claimed that I'm for censorship like a motherfucker because I thought that it was okay for Steven Crowder to be demonetized when he was doing targeted harassment of a gay content creator. Now, Jimmy Dore, on the other hand, that's all he cares about. Like the freedom of speech battleground, it goes down to Twitter and YouTube because that's what affects Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore, he's not going to go protest at the homes of people's houses. He's not going to go and, you know, join these Black Lives Matter protests. So this doesn't affect him. But these big tech companies banning people, that affects him. So that to him is where the free speech battleground takes place because all he cares about is money, his own reputation, you know, his own image. But remember how he claimed that uh, AOC uh, or protesters should go to AOC and the, fr uh, the fraud squad's houses, that's what he called them, because they weren't fighting for Medicare for all enough. But yet, this governor who he's tacitly endorsing is saying we're going to ban people, or actually he did ban people from protesting outside of homes, and Jimmy Dore is saying, well, this is the free speech guy unbelievable i mean if you think jimmy Dore is a leftist at this point you need to get your head checked because he's very clearly telling you i am no longer a leftist i'm with republicans i'm not even pretending to be against the duopoly anymore i'm just saying vote republicans now that's what he's saying take his word for it you heard him there now he also self-reported by saying desantis uh, who should be repulsive to people on the left is now attractive but he is repulsive to people on the left. He's attractive to you from your perspective because you've shifted ideologically. You've become a right winger over the years. And again, this should have been evident when you began to show up on Tucker Carlson's show on corporate media. I mean, he once railed against corporate media, called all of them hacks, and rightfully so. And now, you know, he is a friend of Tucker Carlson, defends him. He's in bed with all of these mainstream individuals on the right, Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson, but yet everyone else is the sellout, but not Jimmy Dore. I mean, this is very clearly gaslighting and mental manipulation, and the only audience who's with him currently, who actually has brain cells, is the right, because he's doing what they want. But if you're a leftist and you're still watching Jimmy Dore, I mean, I don't know what to say. If you're watching him to hear the conservative perspective, then okay, that makes sense if you want to hear that. But if you're watching him because you're a left-winger who wants uh, to hear left-wing principles espoused, then you're in the wrong place. How often does Jimmy Dore talk about how capitalism is bad? How often does Jimmy Dore advocate for socialism? Never. So he's just an op for the Republican functionally at this point. He might not vote Republican yet, even though he's telling you that he wants to do that. But I mean, everything that he's done is in service to the Republican Party. He's either their useful idiot or an operative for them. But it's a distinction without a difference because he's doing their propaganda relentlessly and he's getting paid handsomely for it. Look at how much views he gets on these videos. It's insane. He also said they tried to paint Trump, remember, during Black Lives Matter as a crazy authoritarian who's going to send the army into the city. Well, now Joe Biden is doing worse. Yeah, I love the soft defense of Donald Trump there. Oh, they're trying to paint him as crazy. He literally tweeted out when the looting starts, the shooting starts. And guess what? People heard that call. They showed up, these right-wing militia members showed up to these Black Lives Matter protests with guns and they intimidated protesters. They were protecting property, not human lives. But Jimmy Dore is saying, oh, they tried to paint Trump as crazy as he was threatening to use the Insurrection Act. I mean, in my city of Portland, there were unmarked vans with federal agents who kidnapped peaceful protesters. They just picked them up off the streets, threw them in the van, didn't know where they were taking them, didn't know nothing. But yet, Trump was an authoritarian, but Biden is. Now, what he's referring to there in this clip is Biden's disinformation government board created to combat misinformation. And look, I'll acknowledge that disinformation is a serious issue. And as a society, we need to find some way to combat it. But I personally do not support this board because I see how easily it can be abused. I understand that when Republicans are in power, they can do worse with it than Democrats could even imagine doing. So I don't necessarily support that. But just because Biden has that doesn't make him inherently more authoritarian than Donald Trump, the president who literally considered doing martial law so he can illegally stay in office. I mean, at this point, Jimmy Dore is just selectively choosing what to talk about to create a specific narrative. Like, this is quite literally quintessential right-wing propaganda. But yet, if you ask him, he might say, well, yeah, I'm still progressive. Does anyone really believe that? Jimmy Dore knows he's not progressive anymore. But he pretends because, you know, 
having that plausible deniability is important for propaganda purposes. You know, he can have Tucker Carlson bring him on as the leftist who disagrees with the left, which really goes to show you how unreasonable they are if they have their own side disagreeing with them. But Jimmy Dore isn't a progressive. He's just a rank and file conservative. He agrees with them on literally everything at this point. And when he doesn't disagree with him, they bully him into compliance. He talked about uh, critical race theory last year, and then it got massively disliked when we could still see the dislikes. And then he shut up about it after that because he had a good take on it. He actually claimed, yeah, actually, it just sounds like it's teaching history and it's not that big of a deal. His audience ripped him a new asshole. And then he shut the fuck up about it because he's been captured by his right wing audience that he's been cultivating for years. So shout out to Nitsky. 89 for coming up with these clips. I don't have the mental capacity to withstand more than a few minutes of Jimmy Dore, so I wouldn't see these clips if Nitsky hadn't shared them. So I appreciate that. But I mean, at this point, it's pretty obvious. I shouldn't have to say this. But if you think that Jimmy Dore is still a left winger or a progressive, you're just horribly mistaken or possibly stupid. I mean, this man is a right winger at this point. He's very clearly becoming a partisan Republican. And if you can't see that, Open your eyes. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.